Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of December 2nd through to the 8th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out, see what's going on for the Scorps. First up, we have the Three of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Ace of Swords upright. Next, we have. Um, Wheel of Fortune in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Cups upright, and lastly we have Major Account of the Fool. All of your cards are in the upright position. Look at you go girl with the Three of Cups in the upright position. A lot of the signs are getting um, sociable cards, but I suppose that makes sense considering the time of year it is. So the Three of Cups can represent... Um, uh, sociable events. It could be anything from small little office parties to a small gathering of uh, close friends for whatever reason. Can be a bon voyage party. Maybe you and a couple of friends are planning on taking a short vacation. That would make sense. This could be celebrating. This could be like a bridal celebration. It could be a baby shower or anything like that. It can represent a uh, bon voyage in the sense that maybe uh, somebody getting promoted at work and it could be that you're you know taking them out or it could be you that's getting promoted and they're taking you out whatever is going on you could be leaving a job maybe where some of you are retiring or what have you and you're just getting together or it could just simply be uh you know it is a sociable time december is a very sociable time of the year so it could be deciding to get together just to have you know christmas cheer or something with someone Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Ace of Swords in the upright position. This is the Sword of Victory and the Sword of of Truth and Clarity. So you could be getting um, some truth bombs <laughs> laid on you early this week, or you could be finally clearing up a matter that has become a mystery for you. Maybe this is about work situation. It could even be through a social event here. Perhaps you learn some information because the Three of Cups is also a little bit about gossip too, right? When you, you have people getting together, you know, things come out. <laughs> it could be something like that. But either way, this is a sort of clarity, the sort of truth. You're hearing some uh, things that maybe just make sense to you and you're like, yeah, okay, I finally... You know, I finally got the skinny on that. I know what's going on. For others of you, this could be uh, finally hearing the truth about, you know, a financial matter, a health matter, a career matter. Something could be coming to light and um, really shining brightly at the beginning of the week. For others of you, this could, you know, the sort of truth can sometimes be, you know, through the spoken word. Maybe you're the one dropping some uh, some truth bombs here. Sometimes the Ace of Swords can even represent an aha moment, like a brilliant idea comes to you out of the anti-cosmos, and you're like, yes, I know, that's, this is how to deal with it. It's also the card of victory, so it could be a verbal communication. You're having victory in that area. Next card up is the beautiful Wheel of Fortune. You are in the right place at the right time. This is beautiful, synchronized energy. This is where we're moving with the energies of the universe. Universe, and we're going to meet our fate, our destiny, and we're not pushing against. There's no um, resistance being put in here. So it's beautiful energy. Just keep moving with that energy. When something comes up, I always say, take advantage of it. If you in a place and they say, fill this out, you could win something, you know, go ahead and fill it out because when the Wheel of Fortune is there, you just might win a contest. You could walk into a store, buy a lottery ticket, win a few dollars. You could also, um, you know, go on the internet and find that they're posting your dream home or your dream job or your dream vehicle just became available. It could be anything like that. You can walk into a coffee shop and meet the love of your life. You could just be at the right place at the right time. Beautiful synchronicity and moving with those beautiful energies and where does it bring you to the end of the week the wish card a wish manifests for you here scorpio it could be a small wish for some of you for others of you this is a big wish you've been waiting for this to manifest for quite some time this is also a card that does represent overindulgence remember 
when you are socializing um, this week not to go too far because sometimes, you know, you could regret it if you eat too much cake or you have too many drinks. <laughs> there could be a little bit of a price to pay afterwards. But other than that, it's positive energy. It's all about emotional abundance, feeling good. This is something like in the in the story of the tarot, the Eight of Cups is going here. It's going to find the Nine of Cups. It's going to find that wish fulfillment. It's going to bring the emotions up. Uh, to a whole other level. Beautiful energy. Last card you have is the fool in the upright position. This is all about, you know, I'm ready to start a new adventure. I'm ready to take a chance again. I want to move into a completely different realm. Maybe some of you have decided to um, retire and now you just want to go and um, travel around the world for a while. Others of you have um, found your freedom. Other, other, like maybe you're out of your divorce or you're out of a relationship and you're just like, hey, I'm going to go see what the world has for me, right? The fool just wants to take chances and, and it's risky. It's risky energy. But look at the yellow around it this is solar plexus activation so the fool will take those chances because the fool knows that he will land on his feet he knows he has that confidence that he can take these options so this could be for some of you maybe you're deciding to travel somewhere you've never been before maybe others of you have decided to go into business for yourself because you've always worked for other people others of you could have decided to go into a whole new field of uh, work Yet others of you are being offered a really nice opportunity to have a journey to go in a new direction somewhere. But it's interesting how both these cards at the end of the week have that yellow. Eh? This is confidence. Maybe some of you have been waiting for this opportunity to manifest now that it has. It's given you the opportunity for the go-ahead to start on this new adventure, this new journey moving forward. So... Wow, it's it's almost like, you know, at the beginning of the week, well, the end of the week, this is like clearing something up, getting the, you know, the mental clarity and knowing exactly what's what. Now the Wheel of Fortune is synchronizing and taking you to your destiny. And then all of a sudden you're finding something is manifesting for you. And it's like perfect timing because now it throws me into this energy of the fool where I can start. Remember, the fool is zero. I can start fresh. I can start anew. So it could be starting fresh with your business. It could be starting fresh with a relationship, uh, with, you know, where you live, any aspect of your life, your health, your finances, anything like that. And in closing, I will be pulling a card from the Wisdom Oracle deck to complete this read for the Scorps. What do we have? We have number 21, clean clean it up <laughs> time to clean it up <laughs> yes you must clean it up scorpio so you can start fresh and start anew <laughs> it's funny because aces represent new beginnings and the fool is all about new beginnings so it looks like something is wrapping up here for you this week scorps and it's bringing you to a whole new level of excitement and a brand new journey so I really hope that this uh, reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. The reason being is that that really helps the channel. Share it, share it far and wide. Uh, comment, let us know what you feel about the reading, whether it's resonating for you or not. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribership is free after all. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. In the meantime, have a fabulous week ahead. Scorpio, thanks for joining me. Much love. Take care. Bye-bye for now.